Hello folks, um, tonight is Turkey Delight Night. This is a very easy recipe and I'll tell you something, if you guys want to have it for your family, you'd be doing really well too. So here are our ingredients. We have turkey fillets and that's the white meat of turkey, but you know what? You can use drumsticks, they're really cheap by the pound. And this is before they're cooked, this is what they look like after they're cooked. I cook them through, it might take about a half hour depending upon your oven. Um, we're also going to add some butternut squash, and this is our butternut squash after I've steamed it. You know what it looks like beforehand. Um, our other vegetable tonight is parsley. And parsley, believe it or not, is best if you keep it like a plant in water. Parsley is a cancer-fighting food, and that's for people, it's for animals. If you have, people-wise, if you have a cup of that a day, you'd be amazed at how effective that is as a cancer-fighting agent. We're also going to use a combination today of oatmeal, which I haven't shown you before, but it's a great food, and quinoa, which I have shown you, and that's also another power-packed carbohydrate that's so healthy. I'm going to put the turkey in the food processor, so every morsel of food is going to have a taste of turkey on it. We're also going to add some organic ground flaxseed, which I always put in their food every night, and I want you to think about adding something new, which I haven't talked about before. This is a probiotic. The one I like right now is the one by Jaro. It's for babies. And it, the probiotics, we're, we know more and more about them now, but it's the good, healthy bacteria that our intestines thrive on. If you ever have to give your dog an antibiotic, you must follow the antibiotic with a probiotic because antibiotics kill all bacteria, good, bad, indifferent. You need to replace that with a good bacteria, which is in a probiotic. So if we all know that st our stomachs are sort of the core of our well-being, start with a probiotic every day, and you'll be very impressed with the health benefits for your dog. So now we're ready to take all of our cooked ingredients and our uncooked parsley and add it all together in one big dish. I'm making enough food for three dogs and my cat, Mikey. And this is what they're going to be judging tonight. So here we go, folks. We're going to start with the oatmeal. Okay. And we're going to add in quinoa. Okay. And I, I know we've talked about, you want to try to give your carbohydrate, and it's a healthy carbohydrate, about 50 to 55 percent of the meal. Okay. So we're stirring this up, and if we need more, we can always add more because we've got more. And the next thing we're going to add is the butternut squash. Some veggies are great raw, and some you just have to cook. And I steam mine. Now I'm going to add the parsley, and I like to get the organic parsley. It's not much money, it's not much more. And I think whenever we can avoid chemicals, that's the best way to go. Now if you have a food processor, you can actually turn these into even smaller pieces. And uh, for picky, picky dogs, you might want that. Okay. Before I add the turkey, I'm going to add the turkey gravy. And try to remember, there's no real gravy here. It's just water on top of the turkey breast as it cooked. And it's, there's really no fat in it. Um, this is really a great way to make everything flavorful. Everything has now got this delicious, yummy flavor. And there's good hydration here, too. Okay, now for the turkey, which is really exciting for, for all dogs and cats. So the turkey is about 30 to 35 percent of the, of the um, dish. And uh, what I like to do after I've stirred this up really well is I like to cut up some chunks because I think that it's just, it just more enjoyable for a dog. So here are my serving dishes. I've got Wawa, who uh, even though she only weighs 12 pounds, um, she's got a good, strong appetite and she's very energetic. She's 10 years old now. In my house, 10 years old is very young. That is a very young dog, and we want to keep her very young. And she gets about a cup and a half, and then we have Lucky, 
who uh, he could eat everything. <laughs> and he's such a high energy dog that it won't put any extra weight on him. I'm just going to try to move it into the dish this way. Okay. Lucky gets about three cups and he weighs about 40 pounds. And that is nothing for Lucky. And then we have Rosie, who is the bloodhound. And Rosie also could, she could eat a lot of food. And so we're going to give her all this. And I would say Rosie can easily get five cups, and Rosie weighs about 100 pounds. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little extra turkey to Rosie's and to Lucky's and to Wawa's. But Wawa's pieces aren't going to be quite as big as Rosie's and Lucky's. Because she's a lady, anyway. Right, Wawa? Yeah. Okay. Now, I know how to do this because I've been doing this forever, but I'm going to add the probiotic now. Probiotics have to be kept refrigerated or they aren't useful. So you only want to serve the probiotic just before they're about to eat. And if you haven't started home cooking yet and you think that you leave your food out all day for the dog, you, you won't be leaving it out all day because m most dogs are going to eat this food within minutes of it being served. If you have to leave this out all day, that's not good. You want to, If you have a dog that is not eating um, immediately, put it in the refrigerator so that the, the meat stays okay, the probiotic stays active, okay? So for Wawa, I would give Wawa about an eighth of a teaspoon, and I'm just doing my little, you know, like I'm a chef kind of thing. I can only do that with dog food because I'm not really good with people food, but... Okay, and for Lucky, Lucky gets about a quarter of a teaspoon of a probiotic, and Rosie, she gets about a quarter, a little more than a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? And um, also true for the um, organic ground flaxseed, Wawa gets, I'm going to give her about an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, you know, you have measuring spoons for this. I'm just showing off right now. I mean, I, would, I had to use a measuring spoon forever, and then suddenly one day I realized I knew exactly how much to put in here. And a um, quarter of a teaspoon for Lucky, and about a half a teaspoon for Rosie. And we're going to stir it all up. A little extra turkey, and we're ready to go. Let's go. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say mm, 11. What do you think? Good stuff, yeah. I think uh, we got the winner here. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, that's good. Boy, that's good. Don't give any to those other dogs. I don't want them to have it. This is really good stuff. I love that turkey. I want some of that turkey. Oh my good, was that that little dog? I taste the butternut squash and I think that's so healthy for me. So very, very, very healthy. Let's bring that back next week, okay? Oh my God, why'd you do that? Are you accusing me, Miss Stinky Breath? Why don't you have some more parsley? Because you know, you are just knocking me out. Just knocking please, me out. Please, please. This bickering makes me crazy. Oh, there you go again. Enough already. I am offended beyond belief. Mm. Oh, please. Give me a break. This is what I put up with. Oh, my God. This sh is good. True. <laughs> what? Why, why not? This is not X-ray. <laughs> <laughs> I love that food. I really did. But that noise you made. Oh, my, my, my. You have got to stop insulting me. I can't take it anymore. Mr. Director, cut. I'm out of here. You're a prima donna.